everyone, I'm Lin from Studio Kato and I'm so happy you're joining me again today on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Today I am using a bunch of dyes to make this floral card. I am using the Spade Meraki Paradise. Um, these are really lovely flowers. I think they look a little bit like lavender so I'm going to color them that way. And I cut them all out of this Canson Moval 300 GSM watercolor cardstock and I left them in place in their negative space with some tape on the back just to hold them in place while I colored them with my Karen brush markers. I kept the coloring really simple, my shading doesn't make any sense, I'm just making sure that there's some darker spots in there and some lighter spots. Um, it doesn't have to be fancy or coloring. If there's color on your die cuts, it's already pretty fun. I just wanted a quick birthday card with some bright colors and I definitely got that out of today's crafting session. So I am going in with some green for this stem and I am using two shades of green here to get a little bit of interest in there, but again, I'm not really bothered about shading these flowers in any kind of way that makes sense. Now I do want to add some leaves to my floral cluster, cluster. <laughs> and I am using the Curvy Leaves by Pinkfresh Studio uh, for that. So I am just using more green markers. I am not using the same greens as I used on the stems of the lavender because those were a little bit too dark for my liking. So I went for a little bit of a lighter green combination. And again, I am coloring these die cuts pretty roughly and they are cut from the same 300 GSM Kenson Moval paper. Uh, this is really heavyweight cardstock, which I love for dainty dies like this. For my background, I am using the Dancing Feathers background by Crafty Meraki. And I am also using the same die I used in last week's video. Uh, this is from My Favorite Things. It's the braided border or the braided circle something. It's a really lovely window die <laughs> is what I'm using today. I'm just centering that onto the card panel and I'm taping that in place to get it through my die cutting machine. And then I figured I might as well layer up the floral dies. So I die cut them two more times out of thick white cardstock. I die cut each of the flowers two more times out of thick white cardstock and I'm layering them all together. To help with that, I left the first layer in the negative space again, and that just gives it a little bit more stability. And that means I don't have to use the actual, or don't have to hold down the actual die cut while I put glue on it. So that always is helpful. Um, that's why I do it when layering up dainty dies like this. I use Barely Art Precision Craft glue to layer them up, and then it's time to uh, put it all together. I spent the longest time <laughs> trying to figure out um, where to place the die cuts and where to place the leaves and the florals um, and how to get them through the window. And once I was happy with it, I just put a piece of purple tape on the back of it and that's it. <laughs> I can then fuss around with it a little bit more without all of the pieces moving and without me having to hold them all down. Um, this is just helpful. I always use some purple tape on the back uh, to keep die cuts in place if I'm doing something like this. It's a really helpful way to uh, get your arrangement done before you put everything on your card. Now to put everything on my card, I am backing this entire panel with a bunch of foam tape. I am using two, two layers of foam tape and I cut them up into thinner strips. This is really easy to do if you use two layers because if you have a release paper on both sides of your foam tape, it's really easy to cut with your scissors. Once I've pulled all that release paper off, I can just press it down onto my card base and that's it. I did trim the panel down a little bit just so I have um, about an, an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Uh, I just really like that margin. And I did add one leaf cluster extra once I decided on which sentiment to use. So I used a prepared sentiment that I just prepared months ago. This is from The Perfect Sentiments by Pinkfresh Studio. Uh, this stamp and die sets, uh, they cut out and stamp um, 10 sentiments all at once. So it's really easy to mass produce and I definitely mass produced 
a lot of these. <laughs> I just glued that in place with the new Red Lux adhesive because it's a little bit stronger than a Barely Art Precision Craft glue. And then to spice it up, I am using these Purple Dream Meraki Sparkle Gems uh, by Crafty Meraki. Uh, I really love the colors of these. On the pictures, they mostly look blue, but that's just because of how the light was falling on them. They shift between a really beautiful navy blue to a purple and pink so it's really gorgeous and it fits the lavender perfectly. For a matching envelope I am keeping things super simple. I'm not even using patterned paper today, I am just using regular colored cardstock. I thought this color fit my lavender really well so I just folded an envelope out of that with a We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board. I glued it together with the Barely Art Precision Craft glue and that's it. I'm not going to stamp a design on it. I'm not going to use a die cut on it. This is just my envelope. It's super simple, but it fits the colors of my card nicely. I really like how this card turned out. I don't make a lot of cards that just use dies, um, but whenever I do, I have a lot of fun putting everything together. It makes me feel a little bit like a florist, <laughs> arranging all these little pieces. I hope you liked the card and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. You can also subscribe to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel to see more of my videos and more of the videos from all the other designers that post on here. We have a lot of video content on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel and it's always fun to watch the videos. At least I think so when I watch the videos of Erica and of Lean and Preeti. They're all just so fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I hope to see you next time.